Hello everyone, I'm Jake. I have a lot of questions over stabilizing wood. I did a full length stabilizing video a couple years ago. This one's gonna be a lot shorter and to the point and it's gonna say why and how we need to stabilize wood. Let's get to it. This is maple burl. It's really light, really punky and what they mean by that is that it falls apart. So one of the reasons why we need to do this, if you put it on the lathe, it's going to fall apart and break apart. The other reason is this is full of air and moisture. So we need to get rid of that stuff because resin doesn't like it. So first step is we need to dry this. You can use toaster ovens and in my old video I did use a toaster oven. Since then I've gotten this uh, Quincy uh, Model 40 lab oven. I love it and I won't use the other ones again. Go ahead and use those, but be safe in your own shops. I have it set to 220 degrees Fahrenheit and I'm just gonna set it in here and we'll come back tomorrow and we're gonna show you how to know if all the moisture is out of it. It's not quite 24 hours, but I'm gonna go ahead and take this out and weigh it. I'm going to go ahead and put this back in here and we're going to come back in an hour and see if it's uh, stopped losing weight. If it stopped losing weight, we'll go on to the next step. All right, time to weigh it for the second time. I'm going to go ahead and get this. I don't know if I mentioned it or not, but the reason why we go to 220 is because that's above boiling. So we're going to go ahead and it's going to steam the the moisture out of it above boiling. That's why we go to 220. So now we need to keep the atmosphere away from this. We don't want moisture getting into this after we already got it out of there. So I'm gonna put it in a Ziploc bag. We're gonna put it in this Tupperware that has a seal on it. So I'm gonna do like this and put it in here and seal it up. And then we'll talk about cactus juice. All right, this is cactus juice. This is what we stabilize with. This is how it comes. You have the cactus juice itself and then the catalyst. This is not doing anything until you put this in there. So you have a really long shelf life when it's like this, but as soon as you add this to this, your shelf life diminishes. But if you're using this stuff, you're gonna use it anyway. So you put this whole thing in here don't try to split this in half and split this in half. Go ahead and mix this whole thing. And then the other part of it is good. This, if you consider this part A, part B is heat. So we just put this in here to let it cool down to pretty much room temperature. I'm mean, gonna let it get to room temperature because if I put that piece of wood in the cactus juice right now, it's gonna solidify the cactus juice and then you just ruined everything. So keep the moisture away from it and then let it get down to temperature and then get it in the cactus juice and we'll come back when we do that. All right, this thing is down to room temperature now. This is a couple hours later, I had stuff to do. So I'm gonna submerge it in here. I'm gonna make sure that the level is above here uh, quite a bit because when we let the vacuum out, we let the air out of the vacuum chamber, the level's gonna go down because this is gonna soak up a lot. So you wanna make sure that it's, uh, it's above it. But first I have three different vacuum chambers. I have the cylinder one. This is seven gallon, five gallon. I'm gonna use five gallon for this one. Um, I have links to all this stuff below, but it just depends on what you're doing. If you're doing smaller pin blank kind of stuff, this would probably be appropriate. Um, you can put cups in these to do it that way, but I usually do uh, big enough stuff where I just, I just pour the cactus juice right in the vacuum chamber. The other thing is I have two vacuum pumps here. One of them I usually just use for silicone and that's on a, in another room. Uh, but I have them out here because I've been going through a lot of uh, stabilizing processes. So I have two out here. Um, one is a little more expensive than the other one. Uh, once again, these will be linked below. Both of them do the same kind of job. But the one thing I will say about vacuum pumps in this process is change the oil often because it, it will get nasty when you do a couple of long runs. So what I'm gonna do now is put this in this, put that in there. As you can see over here, I have some metal things, some chains and, and uh, here's a plastic lid I took off of a bucket and I put some holes in it. So what I do is I just put it in there and then put some weight on it. 
And like I said, I want it to be totally submerged, so I'm going to put some more cactus juice in there. So that looks like that's going to stay just fine. We'll put the lid on here. Probably clean it off. You're going to make sure your lid is centered on here so it's going to seal well and it won't get <laughs> try to suck in there. We'll go ahead and turn on our vacuum pump. We'll open this valve. We're going to go ahead and let that bubble until it doesn't bubble anymore. It's been about 30, 45 minutes, so these bubbles are pretty much done right now. So I'm going to go ahead and shut this valve, turn off the vacuum pump. And this is where I get asked all the time, wouldn't it just be better to leave this under vacuum? It specifically says in the directions to uh, release the vacuum, let air back in here. So, and you'll be able to see this go down. You were just able to watch that level go down. That's what I was talking about before, having the cactus juice above the piece uh, enough to where it can soak it in there. Now the directions say to leave this in here soaking two times longer than you left it under vacuum. I always just go overnight. I'm never in that big a hurry when I'm doing that. So I'm just gonna come back tomorrow and then we'll go on with the next step. So see you in the morning. Here it is the next day. I'm gonna go ahead and take this lid off. Get our weights out. Try to save as much cactus juice as you can. Now I'm gonna show you what this looks like right here before we go any further. So if you notice right here, this thing is not even trying to float. It is it's that deep, it's all the way at the bottom. So before, when I first put that in there, it was floating about like that. So uh, just so you know, that is a good, I call it a good stab right there when it doesn't even try to float. So I'm just gonna put this up here and let it drip dry along with my weights too. I'm gonna let them drip in there for a little bit. I think that's done dripping. We want to save every bit of cactus juice when it's done dripping, then I will go to the next thing. While that wood is drip drying, I'm going to make sure my oven is ready and I have an aluminum foil uh, thing down here. It's a tray just like this. All I did was put hooks in the corners and I hook it to this grill and I put aluminum foil over it so it's easy to clean up. So I just don't want to get the oven all nasty and some people wrap their wood in aluminum foil. And then when it's done, you have to take it apart. You have to clean the whole thing. And when this is over, I'll show you it's a minimum amount of cleaning. So I'll get that stuff dried off and put it in here. All right, I'm going to go ahead and just set that in there. I want the least amount of surface area hitting this grill because this is the part we're going to have to clean up. So I'm going to set that right in the middle of that. And I usually have it all full around there over this uh, tray. So I'm just going to set it there. It's set at 200 degrees Fahrenheit. And we're gonna we're gonna come back a couple hours later. All right, it's been about three hours, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this. And this is all the cleanup I'm gonna have to do. Let me show you. It's this little bit right here. You can see it. I'm gonna hit it with a, a random orbital sander, and I'll be right back. Before I show you what this thing weighs and the final result of it, if you got something out of this video, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and subscribe to the channel for more. So let's weigh this thing. Here we go, moment of truth. It is 1083.0. So more than double. It started off at 471. We made it lose about 40 grams by drying it. And then now it is 1,083 grams. Hope you guys liked it. We'll see you all next time. Y'all be good.